Hey guys, welcome back to Maxcar Stone of War Unification. We continued coverage of the UGL Season 2. Uh, here you see in the bracket that we last time have seen the game of Yao Shen vs. Odoles, which uh, was going on for the full three games. Odoles won this and, and will now meet Matt Number in the next round. Yao Shen is, however, on the loser's round. This mat, the match of today is uh, the last thing Max, which is me, versus Futomaki. Um, you see the draft here. Um, I banned Adeptus Mechanicus because I know Futumaki really likes to play it and then I banned Farset Enclaves because it is generally the strongest faction unification right now so I didn't want to face it myself. Futumaki banned Steel Legion because everybody <laughs> banned Steel Legion against me and then Emperor's Surgeon. Um, I picked Demon Hunters, Imperial Guard, Harlequins and Blood Angels. Futumaki picked Sisters of Battle which is a standard pick for him. Uh, Thousand Suns, Witch Hunters and Black Templars. So he enjoys the Sisters factions um, in the Witch Hunters and Sisters Battle, but also is very good with Mechanicus, but I banned that. I picked Demon Hunters and Harlequins because I have some nifty strategies for them. And then Imperial Guard is my go-to faction and Blood Angels I have played quite a lot recently. Um, at least when the game were played for the guide and everything, so I, I had some strategies for them as well so um yeah the first map however here normally should be imperial city but both uh, futumagi and i were convinced that it is short below zero and also the referee didn't notice so the first game this series will be short below zero and not imperial city see you over there and here we are on short below zero on the left side playing sisters of battle we have futumagi on the right side, playing Harlequins, we have me, the Laughing Max. I go for my patented uh, Mime Spam. You go for Mimes as well as Temple of the Laughing God. You could go super aggressive and send them in uh, directly, but I usually uh, cap some points first to get um, some economy going. Um, you will want to add... Uh, I, oh, I don't think you need to add actually a second Chorus because they are a squad and can build relatively fast. Somewhat you want to add another mime and yeah and you immediately go for the holo suits research which enables them some defensive abilities um yeah and futumaki is going for the more or less standard seraphim opener which has the downside that it is a little low uh, slower than your um if you go for sisters of battle um you go for two uh, missionaries and not the uh, uh novitiate squad because you want to uh, have more resources uh in this build so I cap uh, three points and send one or two. Um, I send the one that kept this one as well as my fourth squad to the opponent getting the um, master mime as well. So then I have the quote unquote full squad. It is nothing more than this. And then I will send also this mime over. And once he is finished, I will send him, I think, over as well, this squad. And now I wait until I have my um, two squads together and then I have a two versus one situation and yeah these scouts uh scouts I always call them scouts these mimes are really good in the range department um they you see it here especially against infantry they are really good and they have also pretty good morale damage when a mask um and you see here I can now just send here and shoot especially since they are not in heavy cover anymore losing a model or two a second half seraphim is out but here's already my another um mime squad and yeah he does the right thing trying to uh, uh, focus one squad with two um, but I'm wanting to engage here anyway so I hold the position with them and then these guys coming over so I have uh, the number advantage again and yeah these guys just reinforcing and reinforcing and yeah on the other side these guys are busy capturing then the fifth and final squad they are limited at five moves over to um, yeah, help engaging over here. Novitiate squad being added, which I like, so you have more fighting capabilities. But yeah, these mimes are still very potent, <laughs> especially in the two versus one situation over here. The Seraphims try to intercept or try to get the upper hand on this engagement, which is now a three squads versus two squads. But here comes my third mime squad as well. As I notice, I sent over my second uh, squad as well. No uh, new squads for us. Uh, Futumaki as his economy is still very low in this early department of the game but here you see I have already four mime squads one is tied down into melee a bit but that's okay they can kind of hold their own in melee as well just a bit but in general are pretty cheap for what they do and also the holosuit is doing wonders here um, which gives you a percentage chance to uh, 
uh, dodge melee and ranged attacks so we have a big old fight in this heavy cover mimes really laughing their face off you can see it here <laughs> i like that uh, heavy cover uh, icon is, is a laughing face as they're like ha 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 i send in heavy cover <laughs> and yeah this looks uh, pretty bad for Fudimaki as well he only has one squad left it looks like yeah one squad he lost one squad and now i'm just standing here in the base as i noticed that he is uh, about to leave i think i will want to upgrade a few listening posts if i haven't already yeah, so this one getting upgraded and then maybe the one in the base to um, avoid any base trading situations while i kill his point over here this point i already killed so i actually cap now not sure if i send the chorus over yeah, the chorus is busy here and then will come over here i think um so my economy should be uh, very good yeah we have 74 and 24 against uh, what was it 56 and nothing really and yeah getting some hell divers music because it's it's awesome <laughs> so the hell divers are not nowhere near here but still we have um yeah now the listening post getting killed one by one what is being added the cannoness the cannoness um is a good answer to this but the cannoness takes a whole lot to a whole time to how should i say a long time to get here while i have already basically more or less the full map he has this point over here and will upgrade it okay gets the holy icon he wants to use the blinding light i think blinding light would be very useful indeed seraphim's coming now in but yeah there are still enough mimes here to defend this off the missionary over here will get shot down and yeah click. i think his last bet is this is the cannoness over here core still here losing almost the model but yeah they wanted to build this point but now are not what is he getting another novitiate squad okay that's good seraphim's here trying to fight this mimes i think i'm also starting tier two at some point yeah tier two <laughs> as i said it i just started novitiates are here um the uh, cannoness is here so this is the last stand and not sure if I'm fighting it out. Yeah, I'm trying to get my uh, guys together. The Chorus actually provides a small health regeneration bonus to nearby squads. So if they stand here nearby, they should regenerate relatively good, relatively uh, fast. And the Cannoness just gets kited uh, like there's no tomorrow. And you're always trying to send these where they can uh, fight without being attacked. This listening post is now being um, uh, built and now will be also upgraded and yeah this is the nail in the coffin i think the novitiates are still here decapping one score point of which i have kept in their own base and yeah the cannoners will die in the heavy cover and there's only seraphims here and yeah so the first game was won by me 1-0 with a rather cheeky mime all in um how can you deal with it probably with another opener the opener was okay ish but um you only have two squads against a lot of mime squads so the question is what could you go uh, otherwise you could go um sisters a lot of sisters you could go um yeah i think a lot of sisters and uh, uh also a generator opener so you can upgrade your listing post because these mimes are not really built to kill listing posts early on so this could be a thing but then jelly very very strong maybe too strong uh, opener but yeah um, as all factions are allowed and i'm here to win i will use everything i can in the book okay <laughs> so, so this is a 1-0 now for me and yeah let's hop into the second game and for the second game futumaki choose deadly fun archaeology on the left side playing witch hunters we have futumaki on the right side playing blood angels we have me the last um so i was uh, as I saw Deadly Fun Archaeology, I was thinking, yes, this is good if I go for the uh, build order I also showed in the guide, um, the more or less genless game where you pump out a whole lot of Space Marines. Um, but Futumaki is going for a Repressor add-on. So this is something I did not expect, but it's uh, in general a very good opener. Also goes for the double generator, which you more or less need to do because um, the Repressor depot takes some power and then the repressor itself also takes a whole lot of um resources we, we might as well stick to the to the witch hunters 
And yeah, you see me here getting the first two uh, tactical squads. Once I have built the first two points, I can add a third one and then later even a fourth. Order and all stands. without generators. You can even then click the tier two button without generators. Um, yeah, now the repressor add-on is done. You see the repressor costs 120 uh, power. And yeah, orbit center power lift Order after stands. this one as well. Maybe even want to get the second builder before. Um, this, so you get are a little fast in building up the points. <laughs> we again have the Pope over here, the Polish Pope, watching us. As this is the witch hunters, you know, it's like having the Pope out. <laughs> so I take the middle with my scouts and my um, tactical squad take this point over here. And also this one will then kept by these scouts. The scouts over here are then, I think, assigned to this point. Yeah, trying to get the strategic point in the middle as soon as possible as this will give me some economy advantage. Now we have the repressor here coming in. I see this and we're like, oh crap, uh, you see me and I realize a little too late, but I have two points and I, as I, most importantly, I want to save these builders so I can get at this point up. Um, he gets his points up really fast because these Arbites have a, the me a melee Arbites have a good, um, how should I say, uh, capturing rate. I think I will capture this before he can kill this Heliot, or will I? This, yeah, okay, he, he, re, he, he moves a bit, so this will actually survive as well. So I'm taking now a good chunk of damage to this listing post because I was like, I have a lot of dudes and you only have one tank, what you gonna do? And yeah, getting a little closer so they can fire better. And yeah, you see halfway down now, uh, only a third. Do I get, actually get it? Now there's now that it's shooting back, is he coming in? Yeah, I need to focus it down. There comes the repressor doing one of his of this uh, um, drive by movement, and then also the orbit uh, power lift is getting into the repair. So I will not get this. I need to get away. There's a smoke launcher. What is it? Yeah, a smoke launcher which decreases the side range of a squad if it's getting hit. So I only see. Um, see when when I get hit, I will um, see way less. Okay, not sure what this is all about. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so he has quite a good economy for the state of the game, 80 and something. And But I'm thinking this is just one tank. The damage output of the tank isn't the greatest, so I'm just sitting here with four squads of Space Marines now, I think. One, two, four. I think it's four. And we can quickly can check. Yeah, it's four Space Marines and two scouts sitting here. If he comes in, I think I can even take this down with just enough bolt to fire. So my idea is to get here two at some point, which I'm not uh, able yet. He wants to get here two at some point as well. He has enough power. He needs some requisition, but not much. It's uh, 75, I think it is now, without the Adeptus Royalties Convent. Yeah, the problem is that these guys... Oh, I, I heard that it might happen. Yeah, so these guys have shotguns, so they take trumpet my guys. These um, repressor can uh, march over them and then they also have the smoke launcher. I heard that this had a sink arrow in it and I hoped it wasn't true but it is. So this is the first sink arrow of the tournament and it is again on Dawn of War Online. Um, a lot of games have been played on Steam to uh, circumvent it. The, the games that were played on Dawn of War Online had no sink arrow uh, so far so it's uh, kind of sad. But on the upside I can tell you the story of the game um, because I played it. Um, I got to tier 2 at some point. Did I start it? No. I will go to tier 2 and add some melter guns on those guys to fight off the repressor. And most importantly, I go for vehicles then. Um, the Razorback for Blood Angels can get um, melter, um, multi melter attachment. And I also go like for full vehicle spam, like uh, the, the Razorbacks, the uh, um, Assault Rhinos. And even the black company rhinos so i go uh, rhinos 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 and then i think what do i add i forgot what do i add so i go for the power of the uh, the, the the might of sanguinos and not sure what i add i think one veteran squad to uh, fight in melee and he goes tier two and goes for the arbeits built with the uh, uh, flatulence which then he is just parking in my base but not killing a lot of uh, stuff and i'm going into his base with all my vehicles <laughs> so this is a really topsy-turvy game which in the end I managed to win so it's then a 2-0 for me in this matchup. Sadly 
Uh, I cannot show you the full game, um, yeah, as, as it got a sync error in it. Let's pray that it will be uh, no more sync errors, or at least not much in this tournament, or at least a little later in the game would be fun, I think. <sighs> okay, but this, yeah, this is a short video this time, this ends this um, match, and yeah, as usual, guys, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!